Did you guys know that you can make your own Roblox games? And it's fairly simple to do. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can install Roblox Studio and how you can get your first game up and running on Roblox. So let's jump right into the video. Okay guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is actually install Roblox Studio. So this is the link to Roblox Studio, the download. I'll have a link to that in the description so you can just click download and then you can click start creating. Now it will automatically open up my Roblox Studio because I already have it installed, but there should be this little thing that says download studio right there if you don't have it installed. So next it should open up. This always pops up for me because I don't ever save my files because I'm not smart. But that's it should just pop up um, on the new screen like this. And you can select which type of game you'd like to make. These are just templates that you can use to make your own games. They're, they have a couple scripts in them. But I'm just going to go to the classic base plate. So it will load in real quick. Okay guys, so now we have it loaded in. We're in Roblox Studio and there's this little base plate. That you can see um, under the hierarchy or the explorer, you can see that there is the base plate. So I'm going to show you guys real quick how you can change the color of the base plate in case you don't like it. Now you can go to the color up here and then you can just change it to green if you want it to be grass. You can change it to red if you want it to be lava. But let's say you don't like these little studs or whatever these are called. Let's say you don't like those. You can click the material button up here and you can change it to like grass. So you can have red grass or you could change it to like neon so it kind of looks like lava or something. I don't know. That's up to you. So the next thing I'm going to be showing you is how to insert a part. So you guys can like just a build so you can guys can build buildings. So I'm going to insert a part real quick. Um, I'm going to scale it up like that or so these are the scale tools rotate move select so you guys can rotate it if you want you guys can scale it and make it bigger and you can also move it like this and then with the select tool you can select it and you can move it around like this um, I'm gonna change the color I mean the material to foil and then that to green and then I'm gonna also change the base plate to um, would I guess just for the video so you can see what's actually happening so there we go I'm just real quick gonna build a house or just like a simple wall or something yeah I'm gonna build a wall real quick so you guys can actually do control D to duplicate a house I mean to duplicate an object so if that that makes it a lot easier to build and stuff like that I'm just gonna have a ton of these parts everywhere so you guys can see You guys could also build like a maze or something for your first build if you don't know how to script. But okay, let, that's my build. That's it's not the greatest, but that's my build. So now if you guys click the play button, so you guys just click the play button right there, and it spawns you into this map. Now the next thing you want to do before we can publish our game is have a spawn point. So you guys can just go to your models tab up here in the corner. And then you can click this little thingamabobby over here that looks kind of like a spawn. It says spawn. Click here to add a spawn point to your game. So now it adds a spawn. Um, it won't usually be green, but that's because I have these materials set. So if I want just a regular spawn, this is what a regular spawn would look like. Um, I'm going to make my spawn invisible. So if you want to make your spawn invisible, you go here, delete the decal, and then go here. And change the transparency over in the properties tab. Your properties tab might be over here or down there. I don't know where it will be on your screen. It will be somewhere though. And then you can change your properties, uh, your transparency to one. And then you can move that kind of down into the ground. Now I'm going to play it and everything should work. You sh it should float and you should spawn right where the spawn point was. Yep. So that worked. So now I'm going to show you how to publish your game because that's important too. So. When you're in Roblox Studio, you have your classic base plate or whatever you chose. You want to go to Game Settings and then Publish to Publish to Access Game Settings. So you publish it, you name it. This is gonna be Test for Video. Then you can have your description, and then you can choose who the creator is. Um, I'm the creator of this one, and you can allow who can play, like people on phone, tablet, console, or computer. I'm just going to allow console, and then you can also change the engineer um, to different things like adventure, building, comedy, fighting, all that stuff. We'll just do fighting, I don't know. 
we'll just do fighting for this one. And now it's successfully published. Okay, guys, so to actually um, play your game, go to the Create tab up here, and then go to Test for Video, or whatever yours was called. Now, this is all the settings, so you can change these up real quick if you want to. And then also, if you want to make it so everybody can play or just you can play, you can do that. And you can also enable studio access to API services if you want the game to save. But we're just going to do that, and we're going to save it. Um, if you want to test it now, you can go to the back, and then it will take you to your actual game page. So I'm going to play it now. Okay, so we loaded into the game, and everything works like it should. And if you wonder why I step up on there, because that's where the spawn is, but it's invisible, so you can't see it. So that's basically the basics for creating a Roblox game. If you guys like this video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the notifications bell. And I will see you in the next video.